Today we'll be getting into the second video of uh, our Psalm 119 series. Today we'll be doing the letter Bet, or Bait, however that's pronounced. Um, so, Psalm 119, uh, each, a pattern, of, there's a pattern of eight verses at a time that uh, begin with one of the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. And we'll be looking in the Hebrew interlinear after this to take a look at this. And uh, in our last video, we studied all the verses with Aleph. And, but here in Bet, we're going to see the letter Bet in the first sentence. Like, each sentence starts, I mean, each couple of eight verses start with that, one of those letters in the Hebrew alphabet. The section that has Bet in the English translations is because in, in the Hebrew Bible, that, that sentence starts with that letter Bet. Or whatever other Hebrew letter is in each section of verses. And the only other chapter in the Bible I know of that has this uh, eight verse sectional pattern is uh, Lamentations chapter 3 but that's another video for another time and I haven't done a whole lot of research on it and as far as I know it might actually be the only the only verse that has the same pattern anyway let's jump in Psalm 119 bet and this starts at verse 9. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you. Lord, teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes, as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. So, some interesting facts about the letter bet or bait is that if there's a dot in the middle, it's also it can also be pronounced bet or bait. Because this, the letter bet, serves as, uh, it's the Hebrew equivalent of the letter B, but it can also serve as a V in some situations. The letter bet um, is also the number 2. It has a the numeric value of 2. As you know, each uh, letter is also a number, and is also a picture, and each letter has, each number has its own meaning. The number two either means unity or division. And the picture bet is the picture of a home or, or a dwelling place. And now we're going to see how we can apply this. Uh, and we're going to look at uh, the Hebrew interlinear with the, the letter in the first sentence, in front of the first sentence. So here in the Hebrew interlinear, um, start of verse 9, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? The the letter bet occurs in the in the words in what? This is um or how can translated into into my English Bible here. Um in what is one is one word, bamech, and it means directly translated how long, off, so ever, no thing, what, end, good, purpose, thing, whereby, for, why. So, so, and we're going to see where else this occurs. It seems to also occur in, let's see how else can we do this. So, how can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? You see, when we accept Christ, our, our body becomes the dwelling of the Holy Spirit, but God also becomes our dwelling. And that's what a picture, the picture of Bet can represent. 
I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your. Do not let me stray from your commands. So, when we seek God with all our hearts, He will keep us on the right path. And even though we may not produce the fruit of salvation right away or the fruit of repentance right away, the more you believe it, you begin to act the part. Because true to this um, verse. When we keep our eyes on Christ, in other words, when we when we seek Him with all our heart, he, he won't let us stray from His commands because until you receive Christ, you can't obey God through your own works. It's accepting the works that He did. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. See, when we keep the word of God in our hearts, the word that... He died for us, and all we have to do is repent and trust in Him. With that, we are credited with His righteousness, and we are credited as not sinning with Him, even though we sin all the time. Our sin is no longer charged to our account, because Christ took the punishment on the cross that we deserve, so that we can be right with God. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your degrees. With my lips, I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. You see, we don't find our salvation in the law, but through the law we are shown our sin and how much we need Christ. And when we realize how much we need Christ and when we accept him, we become filled with the Holy Spirit. And then we have a dis distaste for sin and a deep desire to do what is right. And this is when we begin to follow the laws of God. Even though none of us are perfect, we're all going to fail. Christ works with us piece by piece. Because he wants us to be... We are called to be perfect as God is perfect. Although we'll never ch achieve perfection on this side of heaven. We, we are to walk in holiness. And when we walk in holiness... Uh, Christ starts to shine through our lives, and it's a witness to others. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. You see, bet is, a, is an amazing symbol because it represents a dwelling place. Not only when we accept Christ as, as our Lord and Savior, our, our bodies become the dwelling place for the Holy Spirit and God becoming our dwelling place, but also the temple that was in Jerusalem can also be used to represent how God was symbolically sealed off from us. As when Christ died and took our punishment, the veil was torn so that now we have we symbolically have access to God when we did not. And that the dwelling place is a wonderful picture of the gospel because it shows that we have Christ in us. And because of that, we are no longer separated from God. We are no longer separated by Him being on, by Him being in heaven and us on earth. So, in addition with that occurring once in verse 9, it occurs again in verse 10 at the start, at with all. And then it occurs again in verse 11, in my heart. And yet again, it occurs in verse at the start of verse 12. Blessed are those. Blessed are you. And it occurs again in verse 13. With my lips. And it starts with it starts again at verse 14. In the way. 15. It starts there again on your precepts. Verse 16 again in your statutes. Okay, it does not begin and occur again in verse 17. 
nor an 18. Way 18 is way in Gamel. Okay, so each sentence in bet uh, starts with bet. I want to see, I want to go back to the Aleph section, see if that's an occurrence there that I was missing. And yes, yes it is. I was missing that in Aleph. Every sentence in this uh, eight verse section starts with all left. That's amazing. I didn't notice that in the other video. So it's not just every sentence. So it's not just the first sentence in each of these sections starting with the letter. It seems to be every sentence starting with that letter. And that's something we'll have to dig deeper into and uh, look at in our next couple videos. Anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying this one. And I hope you're enjoying the fact that we can live in God's presence and make that our dwelling the the dwelling that bet symbolizes anyways guys hope you enjoy, enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one god bless you all